Namaste, I, Dr. Vinay, welcome you to MedSoul Speak, Physiology in a Nutshell, that makes you wonder why and how, folks you define for answers now. 9 billion people in the world reside in a specific place or move around, interact and communicate with others to sustain life. There is a characteristic importance of this when comparing our body to the world and cells to the population. All the cells in our body are placed according to the requirement and to facilitate interaction and communication whenever necessary. This analogy opens up the arena for discussion on intercellular connections and communication. Intercellular connections Cell membrane of adjacent cells are attached which help them to perform the function as a tissue or an organ. There are three major forms of intercellular connections namely tight junctions, anchoring junctions and gap junctions. In the series of session, we will explore these connections one by one. Just imagine two cardboard boxes which are held together by stitching at the upper end. Tight junctions are similar to this, also called as zonula occludens. To repeat, zonula occludens. Tight junctions are present in the apical region of the cells where the outer layer of the cell membrane obliterates with the intercellular space by fusing. They are seen commonly in the skin, the cells lining intestinal mucosa, renal tubules and choroid plexus. They may contain ion and water channels, rendering them leaky at times. Tight junctions form blood-brain barrier in the capillaries. Alteration in the expression or localization of proteins of tight junctions have been described in several neurological disorders including multiple sclerosis, stroke, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease and epilepsy. Tight junctions are formed by proteins like claudins, occludins, ZO complex and effactin. To repeat, claudins, occludin, ZO complex and effactin. Atopic dermatitis is a cell barrier dysfunction due to cell mediated immune response and IgE hypersensitive response leading to reduced expression of TJ proteins or tight junctions protein namely claudin 1 and claudin 23. In summary, tight junction is formed by proteins like claudin, occludins, ZO complex and effactin which provides strength to the tissue, permits passage of ions, prevent movement of proteins in the plane of the membrane and also help to form blood-brain barrier. This is Dr. Vinay signing off from MedSoul Speak Physiology in a Nutshell. Thank you for your support and awaiting your feedback. Amazed with answers for until now, meet you again with why and how.